The country's best dance teams are here competing at the 2011 National Dance Team Championship. Teams like Rosary, Floyd Central, and Millard West are competing for national titles. And each year they bring something completely new to the competition, raising the bar yet again. Danny and Farron got an inside look at some of these winning moves. Thanks, Nicole. Rosary High School is no stranger to the spotlight. Last year, they took home both titles in the small categories for jazz and for pop. And they're really known for their turn sequences. They do amazing turns, and this year is no different in their jazz routine. Can you demonstrate your turn sequence from jazz for me? That is amazing. So, Alex, can you tell me about the sequence? What all is in that? Well, at the end of the dance, we do this turn sequence, and it's two alsacones into, into two double pirouettes, and then we repeat that, and then we end it with a releve and chanes. And I think the part that makes it so dynamic is that when you watch it with the music, it's so fast and goes perfectly with the uh, counts and it's synchronized with the music and I think that's what makes it so amazing and it's really entertaining to watch. Floyd Central High School is a leading competitor in the large varsity palm division, winning eight consecutive national titles from 2003 until 2010. Tonight they are hoping to win their ninth consecutive national championship. I am here with Sierra, who is a member and also captain of the Floyd Central High School dance team, and she's going to demonstrate some of their leading moves. They are known for their impressive and difficult jump sequences, and their opening jump sequence is one of the best. Sierra demonstrated for us what a toe touch jump sequence into a turning hurdler looks like. That was really impressive, and you can also tell how high your legs get. You guys must be a very, very flexible team, and how do you guys get to that flexibility level? Um, well, at the beginning of every practice, we stretch really well and do jump circles. Also, we have a personal trainer who helps strengthen our legs, and we do certain drills, such as a toe touch drill. And how many toe touch drills do you end up doing in a practice? At least 25, if not more. One thing that I'm definitely getting out of this is repetition is key. Yes, definitely. In 2009, the varsity team from Millard West High School took home the championship in the small hip-hop category. This year, they're bringing it again with some innovative choreography and a really cool partner trick that they're going to show us now. That is such an impressive trick and something that we've never seen here at UDA Nationals. Can you explain it to me? My coach actually came up with this trick in a dream, and she came to practice one day and she's like, let's do it, and we thought she was crazy at first, but ended up working out and we really rely on our partners to do it and they're always there for us. Can you walk me through the different steps for the actual skill? Um, you always want to start off next to your partner and you want to aim for their stomach and then you just want to squeeze, you got to hold it and tough it out. Great, and when you're actually up with your partner and then you go for the drop, how do you make your way from your partner's waist down to the floor? Well, you first want to let go so you can slide, but then you want to squeeze so it doesn't hurt so bad when you hit the floor. All of the competitors here at Nationals had some great things to show us, but these were some of the exceptional winning moves. Back to you, Nicole. Thanks for watching Varsity News Now right here at the 2011 National Dance Team Championship. Don't forget to watch Varsity News Now every Monday on Varsity.com. See you next time.